Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Doriana and today we are going to learn how to make these beautiful texture illustrations in Procreate. We're going to use an iPad running the Procreate app and the Apple Pencil. You can also follow along with another app. First, we are going to start with a blank canvas. For all of you who don't know, Clippy Mask are layers that are added on top of your base layer. You can find this option clicking the layer and then you are going to see Clippy Mask option. Immediately, you're going to see on the top layer that there is an arrow pointing down. That means the Clippy Mask option is activated. For our practice today, we are going to be drawing an orange. Select the first layer and choose a base color. I'm choosing this um, yellowy orange. And we're going to select the ink pack from the Pigeon Letters. I'm going to be using the ink scratch brush. And it's just a matter of making a circle. This is going to be our base um, shape for our orange. And just drag the color down and fill it in. We're going to make a new layer, choose a green one. First, as you can see, I'm just keeping my colors in a palette. And now we're going to choose our green color. Um, I'm going on the color wheel. I have palettes saved, but I'm just going on the color wheel so you can see which um, shade of green I'm using. Draw the stem. You can do this part like it is really easy and then create another layer to draw the leaves this is really important because they are going to be in separate layers and that way we can manipulate later when we are about to create our clipping mask you can fill it in with color fill or you can also color in sometimes i like to um, just fill with the color drop but most of the times I just color in because I like the texture the brush makes. This is a part where you can experiment with different shapes and the position of the leaves. It doesn't matter where you put them, it just matters that you like the way you are drawing things. So now we're going to be creating a new layer on top of our orange uh, circle shape. And this, we're going to put the clipping mask option. As you can see, it is selected in blue and it has an arrow. And after that, I'm going to switch layers from the TPL grid pack. I will choose the static layer that way I can use the texture it has. Lower the size so it matches the what you want to do and we're going to select a slightly darker version of our orange and give it a global texture like a general overall texture to our orange. This is just a base texture. Now we are going to create a new layer for our leaves. Also, we are going to put it under the clipping mask mode. Select your green and then choose on the color wheel a slightly darker version of that green to give it the same overall texture with the same brush we've been using, the TPL grit um, static brush. As you can see, there is um, subtle 
texture on top of the orange shape and on top of the leaves. You can also lower your, your size of your brush in this part so it matches the scale of the leaves. Now we're going to create another Philippi mask layer on top of our general um, orange texture layer. Um, with Clippy mask, you can put Clippy mask over Clippy mask and they will be linked to the original base layer. So anything I do will be on top of our orange base. Here I'm just selecting my light source so I can place shadows and lights on top of my orange and it will make it look rounder. Like it's not going to look flat, but it's going to give it some dimension. Choose a slightly darker color of orange. And I, I'm using the same brush and give it a little tab on the opposite corner of my light source. As you can see, I chose a darker but saturated orange color and I'm playing with opacities. You can also play with blend modes if you want to. It is up to you as you are the artist because you need to look at how you wanna make it. You can now go darker on your color wheel and you can place, you are going to place those darker colors on the edge. Like it is a gradient effect on the shadow. And you can go darker and darker each time and give it that texture shadow look. But now I'm going back to my base orange layer. As you can see, I have it saved in a palette. And I'm going to go lighter to give it a lighter shade where it's directly hitting the light source. And in this case, I'm going lighter and almost on a point to near white. That way it has really lot of tones in my orange and with the texture brush it's going to look so 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 much better so I'll go lighter and lighter in each part and when it's hitting near the edge I will go even lighter as you can see here
next i'm going to give it a go with the stem i'm just going to give it a little bit of shadow on the right side as well as i as i did with the orange and then a little bit of lighter green color on the left side where the light source is hidden so it looks a little bit more in 3d with dimension And after that, we're just going to give it a little bit of texture to our, to our leaves. Remember to always create new layers for these stages. And in these new layers, you're going, you going to activate the clipping mask mode. What clipping mask does is that it remains like everything you do will be clipped to the base layer and everything you do will be in those boundaries. Now I'm just creating the veins texture and I'm doing it with this um, is that is a darker shade of green from the leaves. You can also give it a dimension and make it look like the leaves are folded just by coloring a part of it and it would look like the leaf that part is on is in shadow is shaded and then I just make the la the other half of the stems The amount of detail, it's up to you. Like, it's going to be fine if you leave it the way um, it was. But I also like to give it a little bit of lights and darks in some places. So it looks a little bit more dimensional and uh, it looks a little bit more, not realistic, but stylized. It is my choice, but it is up to you if you want to do this.